Hey guys, it's Siv again from Hunter and Choppy Investments, uh, helping you save money, uh, fixing your either fix, fixing your property or fixing your car. Today we'll be fixing our car. So um, if you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification button so that way that you turn that red light blue so you know that I upload new videos. So come on over here. This is a 2007 Toyota Tundra, uh, 4.7 liter. Um, it kept giving me a error code of P2440. So according to my um, OBD reader, it says I have a secondary in air injection uh, malfunction. It's stuck open. That's really what it says in bank one. So I bought the uh, parts from uh, Rock Auto. Um, if you like, I'll put the description in, uh, below for Rock Auto. Uh, hopefully I'll get an affiliate link. If that's not, check out my affiliate link with uh, PropStream. So I have stuff looking at uh, wholesaling as far as uh, real estate. Come on over here. So driver's side, this is considered the air, secondary air injection valve. It says stuck open. So this is bank one. Bank one is next to the driver's side. So I consider this bank one. Um, over here, this is bank two. Thankfully, this is a 4.7 liter, so it's easy to work on. If you get the 5.7, it's a little bigger. This whole thing is probably covering your um, air injection valve. Here's bank two. And you notice I, I've changed both of them. This one was giving the, big, the biggest problem, bank two. Um, the problem with these first generation Tundras is they have a smog pump that seems to go because they kind of sit over here underneath the tire well. Poor design, in my opinion, because all the mud and all the water comes through it sucks in into the air intake and then it comes through here come up here and it gets pumped into there and that's how it gets it gets stuck in there so you have a a smog pump or air pump valve pump down there and then you have a secondary air injection um, intake here so it gave me a, a p2440 code which means secondary air air injection stuck open so i changed both sides and I'll clear it. And how you clear it is I'm gonna use this thing over here. Come on over here. I'm just gonna use my, this I got this from Amazon. Um, again, I'll put a little link in below for Amazon link for this one, it's auto link, um, OBD uh, reader. It just clears the code for that. And uh, hopefully that should do it. But uh, just to show you how dirty this thing is, I'll show you down here, the old parts. Uh, this is the old one. So you can see how dirty that is. This is the uh, from the driver's side. Pretty dirty now. Yeah, you can zoom in on there. Pretty cruddy and dirty. You can tell just by looking at it. And yeah, even from here. Pretty dirty looking. So this is the original. Um, I don't think the uh, previous owner had changed it. Probably, they, they, they probably did because I, I, there was a screw missing here. All right. I hope you liked the video. Uh, again, Sip from Hunting Chavi Investments. Helping you, helping you save money either through real estate, fixing your own property, or even fixing your own car. So hopefully I'll get it, uh, a link or um, hyperlink, some sort with Rock Auto, because I use most of their parts from there. Good people. And also, if you haven't already, um, share this uh, video, like, subscribe, and also I have a um, PropStream uh, link down below. So I'm affiliated with them, so go to prop, PropStream Pro backslash Siv. So hope to see you soon.